Meanwhile, meteorologist Alex Puckett joins us now in the studio. He's been looking at the damage and the radar data today. Yeah, uh, we've been watching this. As you guys said, the National Weather Service of Birmingham has been looking at the damage caused by this tornado here. And this is some video that we have uh, from Richard Jacks. He was on the north side of Birmingham looking north towards Fultondale. And you see those flashes there. Those are power flashes. Now, there's some gray spots there that get lit up, but one power flash in particular, you do have a view of the tornado that moved through Fultondale. This video was taken at 1042. That was the same time, at least based on radar data, that this was happening. This is uh, the uh, hotel just off I-65, the Hampton Inn, with significant damage there. That was one of the heavier damage spots. And this is what the radar looked like, 1042 p.m. That hotel sits about right here. And you can see uh, the, uh, the radar showing some strong rotation, 73 mile an hour winds uh, moving uh, outbound away from the radar, moving this way and then 42 miles an hour towards it's so strong circulation here and then just a few minutes later 1044 as the tornado lifts north and east of where that hotel is located we get this on radar that little yellow blob that's debris being lofted by that tornado and we'll take a wider view here Fultondale sits here and then at 1046 two more minutes we start seeing some blue indicating again a lot of debris in the air in fact when we take a slice of that radar data and look at it vertically that blue and green you see there, that's debris being lofted over 15,000 feet in the air. That's almost three miles high. So you think about how intense a tornado would have to be to take something light, even like insulation or a piece of paper and loft it that high up. That is a significant amount of energy. And this was a strong tornado. It approached center point. There's still some indication of debris there. You notice the green and blue here at this point. This is near the community of Penson. And at that point, we know that things like insulation was falling out of the sky north of the tornado. So obviously, this was a strong storm. The National Weather Service in Birmingham continuing to survey this. At this point, they think the winds in this tornado were at least 135 miles an hour. Now, all that storminess has pushed south and east of us. We got a break from the rain today, but Jason, doesn't look like that break in the rain is going to last that much longer, right?